Tell us a bit about your history of using the amps from, uh, you know, from how it kind of kicked off. Well, to yeah, I mean, I always liked the grill cloth, you know. Um, I just liked the grill cloth in magazines. I'd look at pictures and go, oh, I like that grill cloth. That's cool. Um, and I noticed Pete Townsend would, was playing them and, of course, the Beatles and then the Jam. A lot of really cool English, like, English acts and, of course, Brian May. And, yeah, it just kind of seemed like a legendary amp. And then my brother left me an AC50 head and 212 cabinet, and it was a 60s one. It had a particular smell to it. When you turn it on, it just has this smell, which I'll never forget. And it's like amps from that time, they all have a smell. Like the, bo the Marshalls had a smell, the boxes had a smell. It must have been the glue they were using, but pretty classic. <laughs> Yeah, I'd come back from New York and I was about to go on the road and I was working with this guitar tech, Richard Neitz, and he said, um, what are you using for amps? And I said, oh, I don't know, I guess I'll use these little little things that was a pro genius. He goes, that ain't going to be enough. He's like, have you ever tried played two, two AC30s? And I was like, no. And he goes, let me go and get two. And he went to the Midnight Oil's lockup, rang up the, someone and said, I'm going to and blah 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 can I go and grab some two AC30s and then went yep he brought two AC30s in and that was yeah that was my beginning of my addiction to the sound of well first the, the blue speakers the, those blue celestian which are incredible like just so articulate and um, yeah my foray into small valves that kind of bubble like smaller bubbles as opposed to bigger bubbles you know Yeah, I've fallen in love with these little AC-15s because they just have an, the box just is such an efficient sounding box. It sounds way bigger than 15 watts. And um, yeah, I've, same sort of wattage amp in a different box just sounds boxy. Yeah. Um, that's how I describe the distortion. It's chimey. It gurgles in a really nice way. It it kind of does things that even at a low volume is sort of playing and then starts to like feeding back in a really nice way and you don't expect it. Because I think usually having come from a lot bigger amps, I, it takes a lot to get that sort of musicality going. But with Voxes, they're just, they're warmed up and ready to chime, you know, on two, you know, which is great. Yeah. 